Well, a crash over the weekend in Fairhope involving a golf cart sent a mother to the hospital. The mother and her two kids riding with her were wearing seat belts when police say a driver ran a red light causing the golf cart to T-bone them. NBC 15's Lisa Labrinyak joins us now. Oh, Lisa, you're told the kids are okay here. Yeah, that's right, Greg. But if the kids and the mother weren't wearing a seatbelt, the crash could have been a lot worse. Seems like people take it very seriously, uh, having their children secured. I I've yet to see someone who didn't have their child properly secured. Gaines Zarzer has had his golf cart for about a year and uses it several times a week with his family. While Zarzer safely straps his baby in a car seat, some people do not. As recently as this morning, like I was telling you earlier, I stopped a golf cart strictly because I witnessed her driving with a baby in one of the front mounted like papooses. Uh, it looked to be a newer born baby, no tag, no car seat, and she's got it strapped to her. Lieutenant Shane Nolte is with the Fairhope Police Department. If this is a situation like the one that happened over the weekend, because that lady in that accident actually went to the hospital with minor injuries because she did hit the steering wheel and stuff, what if that baby's in between those two? A woman who works at the flower shop at the corner of Murphy and Section Street tells me she thinks the speed limit is too high. She didn't want to be on camera, but says she actually helped the two kids along with the mother involved in the accident on Saturday. She also says it's not not only teens that have a problem with distracted driving. We don't take it anywhere outside of the downtown area where folks are usually driving pretty slow. That's not the case for everyone. Some people like to take it down Highway 98 and that is against the law. Because it is a road that's, you know, the speed limit is higher than 35. Most of it's 45, 55, so they can't be out there legally. Now with the summer months approaching and more people riding around on golf carts, police say this is a reminder to buckle up and be aware of your surroundings. Greg? Yeah, great.